Welcome. You are about to view a demo of Informatica On Demand that shows just how easy it is to integrate data between Microsoft Dynamics Navision and Salesforce.com. Informatica On Demand, or IOD, is the only true cloud-based integration solution from a trusted vendor. The demo you are about to view will give you a complete example of the ability to integrate between Microsoft Dynamics Navision and Salesforce.com. At the same time, it'll be a terrific example of one of the most common use cases, opportunity to order. Let's start by going into Navision. Here's where we'll arbitrarily pick a customer name, and in our case, that name will be Denver Chop House. And we're going to do a search here in Navision to show that that record or account does not yet ex exist. Now we'll go to uh, salesforce.com and we will again do a search and make sure that that account does not yet exist in the Salesforce environment. Finally, we're going to go into uh, Salesforce or, or I should say stay in Salesforce and we're going to create that account uh, in the Salesforce environment and then ultimately create an opportunity and have that information flow into Navision. First, we're going to start with by creating the account itself, along with some pertinent information for that account. Then we'll go in and we will create a brand new opportunity for that account. And we'll make sure that ultimately the status of this opportunity gets set to closed one, because that's one of the things that uh, triggers the integration mechanism for getting this closed and one opportunity back into the Navision environment. So we've got that complete. Now let's go into Informatica On Demand and look just at how easy it is to configure an integration job to bring that data back into Navision. Informatica On Demand, or IOD, is truly a set of cloud-based services. Therefore, it inherits all the typical benefits of a SaaS-based solution. No installation is required, no maintenance, no administration, extremely easy to user browser-based interface, truly all the benefits of choosing a cloud-based solution like Informatic On Demand or like Salesforce.com. To configure an integration task is quite easy. Simply choose the service of your choice, and in our case, we'll choose the data sync service, and then step through the six step wizard at the end of which you have completely configured an integration job. So now we're going to step through the six steps. Step number one is to define this job. What do you want to name this job? And when the records ultimately hit the target, in our case, Navision, should those records be inserted? Should they be updated? Or should they have some other action such as upsert, where if the record exists, it'll be updated? And if it doesn't exist, it'll be inserted. Secondly, we pick our source. And in this case, we'll pick a connection string that points us to our source application. Uh, in our case, this will be Salesforce. And we pick the object within the Salesforce world where we're going to pull our data from, in this case, opportunity. Step number three is to go in and pick the uh, target information. And so in this case, we will pick the uh, target connection, which points us to Navision, the Navision environment. And we will pick the object in that environment where we want to get the data to. Step number four is optional, but we can choose to do some filtering. And in our case, uh, for example, some of the filtering might be based on some specific criteria like you see here, or based on other criteria like where the opportunity status is closed one and a last modified date is greater than the last time that this job ran. Step number five is uh, very interesting. This is where you really can accomplish dealing with the anomalies between the data of one application and the data of another application. So two things happen here. Number one, you can link uh, elements of data directly from source to target. So in this case, for example, you can see that billing city we linked directly to city in the Navision environment. Um, but in many cases, you, you need to manipulate or massage the data as it moves from one environment to another. 
And so you can see some examples here, such as if then else statements to apply some logic and other types of functions to, again, manipulate data appropriately between the two environments. Finally, you can go into step six. You can either pick an existing uh, schedule or you can create a brand new schedule. And when you create a new schedule, you can tell that schedule when to run, what time to run, um, and what the recurrence level is. Is it every week? Is it every day? Is it every hour or even every X number of minutes, for example, every five minutes or 15 minutes? Apply that schedule, click Save, and you have completely completed the integration configuration of the job that will take opportunity information over to Navision and create the order. Now all we need to do is run this job. Now, as this is running, we'll jump back over to Navision, and when this finishes, we should in fact see our Denver Chop House order has been entered into the Navision environment. And so we will go into Navision, we will do a quick search for Denver Chop, and in fact, we do find our record, and this has completed the integration uh, the opportunity to order integration between salesforce.com and Microsoft Dynamics Navision. So this concludes the demo of the integration between those two environments. We hope you walk away with a clear understanding of just how easy it is to use Informatic On Demand for all your integration needs. Thank you.